Oh, ow, that really hurt. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Lily and Rose, aka Lily. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new, and welcome to my memory box video of my sophomore year. So in my freshman year, I started getting these boxes and painting them, and I would like write the year, and I'd put like memories in there throughout the year. So this is my sophomore box. It is still not painted, but Anytime I had the chance to paint it, it was like a cloudy day or like it was just terrible weather. There was always a reason, but this is what my box looks like and I decided to just show you guys the inside and probably during the summer I'll do a video of me decorating it. But this one right here is actually my junior year box. I already made that one on the sunny day. But this one was originally going to be my sophomore box, but then I was like, no. Because my boxes are kind of themed on, like, what I like at that time. So my first box was pink with leopard or cheetah. Um, I would go get it, but I don't really feel like it. And this box, I'm going to make orange. It's going to be bright orange with pink. So orange, pink, and disco balls. I have this whole vision in mind because that's what I liked this year. So that's what this box is going to be painted. And I decided to show you guys what's in the box anyway, even though it's not painted yet. But this one is painted and I did get some clips of me painting it. I don't think I am going to put it in this video anymore. I originally was going to, but not going to anymore. But this one is Love Shack Fancy. It's not finished yet. I'm going to put like flowers in between here. So it's actually inspired by this print that's in here. This is the inspiration for this. So just like, can you guys see the, the vision? It's going to all come together when it's finished. But I'm currently on summer break. I've been meaning to film this video for so long. So I already started putting things in here because... The summer after I finish a grade, then I start putting things in the next box, if that makes sense. So the summer after I finish 8th grade. So, yeah, after I finish 8th grade, I put it, all the freshman stuff in there, like, from that summer, if that makes sense. I'm not really sure how to explain it. But let's talk about what's in my sophomore box. Also, I still need to print photos because I want to put photos in here. Or I'm either going to make a book. I think that I'm leaning towards making a book for my freshman and sophomore year but honestly let's just get started because i'm yapping away this is like a quick little ow inside look of what my box looks like and now let's go through everything in here so right now i'm actually going to take everything out and then show you because right now everything is still in here so i'm going to take that out really quick and i'll be back to show you guys everything Okay guys, I have everything out of the box now and it's somewhat sorted in like time zones like my birthday party and other stuff, but I'm going to start off with the stuff that needs to go at the bottom so I could put it away as we go. But first off is my prom proposal. I have my homecoming proposal still, I think, or I got rid of it. I don't really remember, but this is my prom proposal and I put it in here because it honestly does kind of fit because it is so small. So that is the first thing. Okay guys, so if you didn't know, I went to the Eras tour last summer and I have a bunch of stuff from it. So this stuff is all going in here. So this is the bag that my sister got my merch in. So I put that in there first and next up is all my bracelets. So these bracelets are from the actual Eras tour. Um, I got two glow bracelets because the lady actually dropped one and she's like, you can have it. So I got two of them. And then these are all the bracelets that I traded and received. Okay, and next up is the bracelets that I got from the Eros Tour movie. I have way more from the movie, but I just keep them on these little hook ring things. So next up, I'm not going to pick this stuff up, but I have a bunch of confetti and I'm just going to put it at the bottom. I see a bunch of people like do things with their confetti, but I don't know what to do with mine. So I just put it at the bottom, but I'm going to put other stuff in there first. Okay, so I also have a bunch of birthday cards. This is from my sweet 16. 
Um, these two cards are my favorite cards because look at how pretty they are. My party was like disco balls. So here's a pink little disco ball card. It is so pretty. And it's trying to focus on me right now. That's why. But this one my grandma got me and I just love it so much. It's so pretty with the florals and the lace. And then we also have all of these cards. Some are from Christmas. We even have like a thank you card right here. I don't remember what that's even from, but I put it in here, so. So, I just have, like, a bunch of cards, Christmas, birthdays, all of these fun little cards that I got throughout the year. Then we have a bunch of these type of pictures. I don't really remember the name, but I have, like, a ton of these. I always get a ton. I love taking these. So, we got a few. So, this stuff here is... One of them is my camp schedule, maybe even two of them from last year and some drawings that kids made me. And I just like to keep all that. I just think it's really fun. But I also have some bracelets that kids made me. Like, this doesn't even spell anything. Just some random letters. Okay, wait, what is this from? This is a letter that I got in the mail, so we're going to put that in there. It's like them thanking me for something. This is my iFly flight tickets. And then, of course, we have my fork that I got on vacation. It's a little mini fork they gave me, and I kept it. Moving on next, we kind of have, like, holiday things. So, first off, we have my Care Bear thing from my Halloween costume. And this was the other part of the costume. We got a Valentine's necklace and then a St. Patrick's Day one. And then we got a Boo ring. And then also American flag thing. This one on a necklace, and I actually wore it in my 4th of July video. So, we have a bunch of bracelets from, like, all sorts of things, like carnivals water parks i even have one for can't think of the name i fly okay guys next i'm going to be showing you guys my prom stuff this is all out of order like i'm about to show like birthday stuff next this is all out of order but this is my corsage that i had at prom i love it so much i wanted a fake one just so i could put it in this box because I wanted to keep it forever and I just love it so much it's so pretty if you guys are going to prom I definitely recommend or even homecoming I definitely recommend going to Hobby Lobby for your corsage they had like this whole section where you could pick up all these flowers and like these decor things like pearls and all this other stuff so I definitely recommend that it's like such a cool little area they have so I'd recommend that um this is my flower crown it's a little beat up but it's okay it still works um and they just like gave these out at prom and they also gave out one of these it's a light foam light thing um i would light it up for you guys because it does still work but you would not be able to see it at all i also got one of these last year for homecoming so i have two of these one in each box so hopefully i get one for my next box because it's kind of like a tradition i guess so this is the tag for my dress and I thought I'd keep it as like a memory of my dress I guess but then I also have this thing it's like all wrapped up I'm not gonna even unwrap it for you because it's a whole mess in there but it's basically this thing that went around my dress and it's so I wouldn't wear the dress and then return it so it's just like a, a lot of dresses for prom have it so I kept that too we got some pink sunglasses for the one sports game I went to this year. I didn't go to many, but I literally only went to one. And these are my glasses that I wore. Well, I actually wore heart-shaped ones. These are the ones my mom wore, but I kept them. And this is the little pin that I got from the game. It was a volleyball game for breast cancer. Yeah, so that's my sports stuff I got this year okay this pile is a whole lot of things so let's quickly go over it so first up is this Starbucks thing and the reason I kept it is because me and my friend we decided to go to Starbucks to study and do other things she did homework and studied and I did some editing and like planning for videos and it was just like an overall fun thing and I got a hot drink I think at the time 
I think I was the one who got it, but we were writing notes in it. Like, this is one of the notes she wrote me. I think that we wrote mostly the notes on her cup, but I kept that because it's... I just keep a lot of things. Um, I probably feel like a hoarder... I probably look like a hoarder now because I have all this stuff, but I swear it's going to mean something to me when I'm older. Like, there's always a story behind everything in this box, and I'm just going to keep it all for when I'm older. It's just like a fun little memory box and I think it's a really fun thing to do so I totally would recommend doing it. Okay, I can't show this card but it's from a goat cart place with like games and arcades and all this stuff. I'm not going to show it though because it actually like says a town name and I, I kind of live right by it. <laughs> and then we have a bunch of tickets for movies. So I'm going to quickly like go over which ones I went to. So I know I went to other movies. I went to more than just three, but I didn't keep the tickets. So, oh wow, I have three tickets just right here for the same movie. So this is for Flash. I don't even remember going to Flash, but I guess I went to that. This is for the Taylor Swift movie. It's literally so many in a row, but that's the Taylor Swift movie one. And then lastly, I have the Barbie one. I'm not showing any of them because it says which movie theater I went to. And people could be creepers and zoom in on the video. So this is just like an old gift card that I got from Starbucks. I did something. I'm not going to say what I did. And then they gave me this. So that's why I have this. And then I used it. But I'm going to show you guys what I used it on. So I actually used it for the Starbucks videos that I do I usually do holiday Starbucks videos and those are some expensive videos I try all the holiday drinks like I do it for fall winter I just always do it I don't think I'm gonna do it anymore though because honestly those videos get the least amount of views out of all my videos and they are the most expensive out of all my videos okay this is the receipt that I got for um, the Starbucks winter video I'm not gonna show it because it says which Starbucks I went to, but that was an expensive video. So that's why I used some of the gift card on that. But then this was just like the list of all the drinks we were going to get. And this was also like a guide to help us like remember which drinks we were drinking. Because honestly, I cannot speak Starbucks. And the cups make no sense ever. Like I can never tell what they're meaning when they're saying like which drink it is. Okay, next up, I got a trophy. So we have, like, monthly family dinners. And th they always have, like, a theme. Of, like, once it was appetizers. But this time it was Italian. And we are an Italian family. So we had a spaghetti eating contest. And I got second place. So this is my trophy. Um, I don't think I did a video on it. But here it is. Won it fair and square. So I'm keeping this. I think this is the last stuff, but this is honestly my favorite stuff that I got. So this is my birthday sash from my 16th birthday party. It's actually ripped, but it's okay. I was like ice skating and it fell down and I pulled it up and it ripped more. So that was kind of sad, but I don't know if I can show any of this, to be honest. I don't know if it shows like details, but this is the keys like the little tag that came on my keys and it just says like my car year type color and all that stuff but I don't know if I could show you guys that but I did keep it I think this is fine to show it just says which key number it is and I also kept this so both of those came on my keys and so did this little bow because if you guys did not watch the video of me getting my car which is on Christmas Eve it had a big pink bow on it and then this little gold bowl was on my actual keys. So this is a 16 because I turned it 16. It might be flipped on camera. I'm not really sure. But I love it so much. I never put it on my keychain but I keep it in my memory box. My neighbor got it for me for my birthday. So that's part of the 16 category. I think this is the last thing but this is actually my permit. I'm not going to show you guys this because it does have all of my information, but I did get to keep my permit. I know some people don't get to, but they asked me and I was like, yeah, I would love to keep it because I do have these memory boxes. So that is everything. And now I have to pile it all into my box. 
but I'm really sorry that I couldn't like record any clips of me actually painting it because I did want it to be painted for this video but I also want the video to go up because today I'm actually posting the video the same day that I'm recording and editing it and I also have like 10 other videos to edit and post today but I was just running out of time to do it and I honestly forgot about it in the beginning of the year but I'm gonna do it this summer I just I can't paint in my house my mom won't let me so and which I understand why but it's just every time I'm free to do it I can't do it because it is like a rainy day or there's always some reason so sadly I couldn't do a video of it painted but now I have to go put all this stuff back in the box so thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>